Need a fun and engaging game for your ESL classroom? Well, today we're going to be talking about sticky balls. Welcome to Mooncake. For the past eight years, I have been working and living in China as a teacher, manager, and recruiter. So if you're teaching ESL abroad, make sure you subscribe below and hit that notification bell for weekly ESL teaching tips. If you're looking for a fun and engaging sticky ball game that's going to help get your students speaking English quickly, then look no further. By the end of this video, you're going to have one more ESL game to hang on your teaching tool belt. Let's get straight into it with the first game, Target Practice. For this game, all you're going to need is a sticky ball, some flashcards of the vocabulary that you want to teach, and some form of board markers. First, we're going to position the class in a semicircle with you, the teacher, in the middle. Next, we're going to draw a nice big target on the board behind you. Now, most especially if working with younger learners, it's really important that we draw a nice big target so that students have a better chance of hitting the target when they throw the sticky ball. Now, to help keep students engaged and to add in some extra English, you can have them describe what you're doing as you draw the target. For example, they can say, draw a circle, draw a bigger circle, draw a bigger circle. This helps to keep them engaged whilst at the same time having them speak more English. Next, label each circle with a number having the students count along as you do. One, two, three, four, five. Next, you're going to take those flashcards and write a number on the back of each one. Place them in a line indicating where students will throw from. Next, split the class into two teams and give them fun team names. The teams are then going to take it in turns one by one to come to the front and throw the sticky ball at the target. Once again, it's really important to help keep the whole class engaged. So as one student is at the front throwing the ball, you can have the rest of the class chant some encouragement. For example, Jimmy, Jimmy, throw the ball. Jimmy, Jimmy, throw the ball. That student in the middle then throws the sticky ball, hopefully hitting somewhere on the target. Whatever number circle they hit, they find the matching flashcard and show the rest of the class. The whole class as a group then asks that student the target question. For example, Jimmy, Jimmy, what's that? Jimmy, Jimmy, what's that? The student in the middle then answers that question and if they answer correctly, they get one point for their team. Obviously in this example, I've used the question, what's that? And the reply, it's a. Uh. But of course, this can be adjusted to suit any sentence structure that you might be teaching. Next, a student from the other team then comes up and we go again. But you can add in some more language here. As a group, you can have the whole class chant together. Who's next? Who's next? Sarah is next. Who's next? Who's next? Sarah is next. This helps to keep all those students that are waiting for their turn engaged. All these extra language points that I'm putting into this game are part of my classroom management strategy. By keeping students engaged and preventing any kind of misbehavior whilst at the same time teaching more English. Let me and your fellow ESL teachers know in the comments below if you can think of any extra language points that we could put in whilst playing this game. Now obviously as we're adding in these language points, it's really important that we're using chants and TPR to help help students remember the language quickly. If you're not sure how you should be using TPR in your classroom, make sure you check out my video on TPR linked below. The next game is a much simpler version of target practice. Once again, we're going to position students in a semicircle with you, the teacher, in the middle. This time we're going to take the flashcards and we're going to stick them on the wall behind you. Now, most especially when working with younger students, try to put those flashcards all together, forming a larger mass, therefore easier for students to hit. Next, you're going to take the sticky ball and you're going to throw it to someone from Team A. You're then going to ask that student a simple review question such as what's the weather today and if they answer correctly they can come to the front and throw the sticky ball trying to hit a flashcard. Once again before that student takes a shot you can have the whole class chant together. Jenny, Jenny, throw the ball. Jenny, Jenny, throw the ball. Once that student has then thrown the ball you can ask the whole class. Did they hit the target or did they miss the target? The whole class then replies together. Hit the target, yeah! Hit the target, yeah! Next, you take the flashcard the student hit and ask them a relevant question. If they answer correctly, then they get one point for their team. If not, then they throw the sticky ball to a member of the other team and we go again. So there you have it, two sticky ball games that you can use in your classroom. 
Don't forget when playing these games to look for opportunities to add in extra language throughout. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and by sharing with your fellow teachers. If you found this to be helpful for your ESL teaching, then let me know by commenting helpful in the comments below. That's it for this video, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more weekly teaching tips from Mooncake. Let's get straight into it with the first game, target practice. Target practice. Target practice.